Let's go! This is Mo. Mo has fur that is black, eyes that are brown, and a tail that is feathery. She also has a name, of course. Now let's say you wanted to turn Mo into a character for a video game. All of these values that describe Mo need to be written out in the code, like this. Each value is represented with a string of letters, so we call it a string. Now let's say you decide you want Mo the game dog to have different color eyes. First, find the eyes variable in the code. You can edit the value it stores by deleting it and typing something new, like blue or green. But strings aren't the only pieces of information that our program needs to keep track of. For example, Mo is nine years old, but soon she'll be 10. We want to store the value of her age in a variable, like this. This way we can update or change the number value when we need to. You can see that while some variables store a string, like green, other variables can store an integer. An integer is just a whole number, like one, three, or six. If the number has any fractions or decimals, then it's not an integer. Integers are whole. Let's look at another example. Mo has one treat. One is an integer, and we can store it in a variable. But when she's a good girl, she might get two, or seven. The variable treat stays the same, but the integer value it stores can change. This will also change the outcome. A computer program for a game stores a lot of information as integers, so number values can change or update while you play. Look, you have an integer rank and coin count right here in Codable. This is an example of a game program storing an integer value that represents something, like your score. The Fuzz family is learning all about integers too. The last time we checked in with them, they had just used their knowledge of strings to destroy the colorful asteroid field. But now they have a new challenge. They've run into asteroids that do not have string values. See the numbers on them? These asteroids have integer values. Here's how you can help the Fuzz family. Start by looking at the integer values, or numbers, on the asteroids. I see four. Then choose a matching numbered fuzzball. This means one with the same integer value, four. Tap the fuzzball to load the blaster, and then tap to aim at an asteroid of the same value. If the fuzzball integer meets an asteroid of equal value, they will both clear and the fuzzes can pass through. That's not all. Do you see any other examples of integers on the win screen? That's right, the number of stars and coins you earn at the end are stored as integers too. Now that you've seen variables in Asteroidia, what do you think? Why are integers so important in game design? Let's review. A variable is like a container that stores a single value that can change. Some variables store values made up of letters, like purple. These are called strings. Other variables can store a value that represents a whole number, like two. These are called integers. There's actually another mystery type of variable we use in Codable, but we'll keep that a secret until our next video. Happy coding!